Hello and welcome to our expert talk here at the virtual fair All-in-One Solutions. We are broadcasting live from our studio here at the production site in Seidenstetten, Austria, and we are talking about levitation lines today to have a common sense about uh, the technology, about processes, about the um, news from the Traslam line. We will show you a brief film which take, uh, which take some minutes and afterwards we will start our live talk with our experts here live in the studio. Hello, my name is Markus Jandl from Leisig, Austria and I am responsible for lamination and tempering. I will introduce you our new Leisig Plus Lam lamination line. We are offering this plus slum in three different sizes 2 by 4 meter and 2.6 by 5 meter in U and in straight shape, as well as the jumbo size with 3.3 by 6 meter only in straight shape. Now you can see the glass loading of the line during the live production. We do this here manually with a simple suction cup handling device which is fixed on a slewing crane. The tilting table brings the glass into the horizontal position. We also offer other solutions which a tilt table, suction cup handling device and a horizontal transport table or a fully automatic glass loading connected to a Lysic buffer system. Before the glass enters into the washing machine the glass thickness and Lui coatings are detected to select the correct recipe. The washing zone is equipped with three pairs of brushes. For Lui coated glass the first two hard brushes are lifted and only the third soft brush cleans the sensitive glass surface. In the drying zone specially air nozzles dry the glass surface, which is important to get the right adhesion between the lamination foil and the glass during the lamination process. We are now inside the climatic room, where we have always a constant temperature and humidity. This is very important for the PVP and SGP central glass foil. When the glass enters into the climatic room, it will be aligned on the positioning table. The automatically alignment works also for shaped glass. The carry-over lifter brings the glass to the assembling table. The operators guide the foil manually onto the glass surface. The foil length will be automatically cut according to glass length. On this lamination line we can laminate glass panes from 3 up to 19 mm and create multi-layer laminates up to 60 mm thickness. Optionally, we can laminate also 100 mm thickness. To be able to, pro to produce small laminates also very efficient on a big lamination line, Lysac offers the option speed assembling. In this case, the transport tables are split into two units to reduce the transport waste and create additional buffer zones. With only one operator, the assembling area is possible to produce more than 50 laminates per hour. After the, the positioning of the second glass pane, the operator trim manually the foil along the glass edge. Especially for shaped glass, pop-up rollers allows to rotate the glass for a convenient trimming. The rest foil, or also pre-cut foil, can be stored on a movable foil shuttle and helps to reduce the foil waste. The foil magazine is installed direct above the line and stands on their own substructure. That means we have no static load on the climatic room 
and avoid higher costs for the customer. The full loading is done with the slewing gran, which is also fixed on the floor. For a one-man operation in the assembling area, the automatic foil laying is very helpful. The foil gripper is direct fixed on the carryover lifter and brings also big foil sizes to the right position. With the option full trim cut for rectangular glass, the full trimming is done fully automatically from three cutting heads with knives on a separate table. The manually trimming has not been done longer on the assembling table and is already free for the assembling of the next laminates. With the automatic fold trimming, the total line output can be increased at 40%. The most important part of a lamination system is the nip roller. For a homogeneous and fast heating of the lamination foil, Lysac has installed an infrared heating for float glass and a high convection heating for the recoated or painted glass. Depending on the laminate structure, one or the other heat source is used with a higher pro proportion. This combination allows one of the fastest lamination speeds which is a very compact furnace length. With the option Eco heaters, the infrared lamps can be switched from the radiation over the total furnace width to the half furnace width. This reduces the energy consumption during the production of small laminates and avoids additionally an overheating of the furnace. The servo spindle press technology is a unique system on the market. This guarantees a gentle and parallel pressing, which is important, especially for shaped glass. The necessary press force is always adapted automatically according to the glass shape. Lysac offers two different combinations of the pre-nip machine. The single nip system with two heating zones and one press for compact solutions and the double nip system with an additional preheating zone and an additional press for high output production. If customers are interested to increase their existing lamination quality and output, Lysac offers a pre nip exchange. That means Lysac deliver a new pre nip machine and connect them to the old existing assembling machine also from third parties. As you can see here, the full structure is very uniform. This shows the accurate and gentle pressing of our servo spindle press technology and the homogeneous heating with infrared and convection. I hope to have aroused your interest in the Lysic lamination technology and would like to ask you to contact one of our sales representatives of Lysic directly. So welcome back. I hope you enjoyed watching our video and you already learned something about the plus lamp. And now let's talk to our experts. Um, we have today here Manfred Speitzer responsible for technology. We have Markus Jandl, expert for the processes in lamination lines. We have Christoph Lueger, product management. And we have Juan Martinez, expert in LAMI sales. So, <clears throat> Lysac made big efforts within the last years in um, the lamination technology, Mr. Martinez. Um, so, as Lysac is uh, for the insulating glass solutions, it's well known, but since when Lysac is offering lamination lines? 
Well, it's a very interesting question because, yes, we are well known for the insulating part and for uh, lamination, even though we are uh, well experienced with uh, above uh, two decades, approximately, of, of uh, working in the industry. And this is mainly, uh, you have all well known our latest brand, which was uh, through Lysac CMI machinery, where we had our manufacturing based in Italy. Then uh, after this, we had uh, uh, the experience gained over the involvement of the complete Bistronic Armatec uh, uh, laminating uh, portfolio, which was as well by us integrated. And uh, with all of this uh, information and with all these experience gained together, and after all the successful union of all the forces, let's say we uh, ended up moving uh, all of our uh, production to reinforce even more our experience down uh, up to Austria in uh, 2017. So uh, there is a lot of experience, there's a lot of background supporting uh, all of the process up to what today is our product. Mr. Lego, what was the decision? Uh, why is it situated here in Austria? Um, yeah, basically since 1961, um, we are manufacturing and, and assembling all the components for our equipment in, in certain Städten. So it was the, the next logical step uh, to uh, also do this for the Lamy line in, in certain Städten. Um, so now it's fully developed and fully assembled and manufactured in, in certain Städten and we can use all the standard components, uh, control devices and so on um, for all our, uh, from all our standard equipment. So it was uh, yeah, just a logical step to do this for, for the Lamy line. I say, Andrew, you have a wonderful uh, video about the, um, the production inside. Where have you filmed this uh, video? Yeah, this video was produced in our glass forum uh, during the production of customer projects. Mm -hmm. And on this video, the plus LAM S2650 is visible. That means up to a maximum glass size of 2.6 by 5 meter length. And this demonstration line, we have integrated a lot of options to show our customers our possibilities, our solutions for lamination. And we also use this line for our improvements of our new features to test them under real production conditions. Mm -hmm. So we heard a little bit about uh, different lines that you have in lamination. What lines do you have? What do you offer to your customers in lamination? <clears throat> yeah, basically, we, we have solutions for almost uh, every customer. It's starting with uh, small flexible lines um, with uh, a very small footprint and going up to high speed jumbo lines. Um, I don't like to bore our viewers uh, too much with, with brand names, but we separated it into a plus LAM and max LAM. Um, but the plus LAM, it can be configured almost uh, freely. Um, but the core advantage is the, the flexibility and the configurability and also the small footprint in the climatic uh, room, which is only a single storage room. Um, and we can offer straight lines, U-shaped lines in different sizes, so it's very, uh, yeah, depending to the customer needs and we can find a solution for almost everybody. On the other hand, we have the Max LAM, uh, which is um, basically trimmed for high output of, of jumpers. Um, and here we also go up to 24 uh, magazine um, positions, for example, on uh, double stage, uh, double storage. So we have uh, yeah, flexible solution. And, uh, high range of, uh, of um, different configurations for almost every customer. Mm. Mr. Schweitzer, as you are responsible for the technology, I'm sure you are the guy who can tell us something about the construction or the design of these uh, LASIK machines. Yes, with uh, modern machinery uh, with high precision laser and uh, bending machines, uh, we can make very compact and stable constructions. And with this uh, compact and stable constructions, uh, we have less weight and volume. It means uh, we can integrate uh, additional features in very less volume. Well, the assembly area and the climatic room looks very compact. So is there any reason for that? Yeah, we look always on the operational cost for the customer. It means uh, we have installed the foil magazine and the grain directly above the line. Uh, so we have only a single floor climatic room 
and with the single floor climatic room uh, we can make the ground floor magazine with no influence on the static load no hidden costs for the customer okay so of course uh, Mr. Yonder, for all customers efficiency is a big issue so um, are just a few lamination rolls enough for an efficient production of course six rolls direct above at the line is not so much <clears throat> but to have always the right width direct on the line is with our additional solution foil shuttle not so important because we can restore the cut it foil on the uh, foil shuttle to use it for the next laminate so and this allows to reduce the amount of the foil storage rack on the other hand we can use this foil shuttle system to pre-cut folds, especially for small laminate, to have it always direct on the line in a very fast way and allows to have a throughput of up to 50 panels per hour. If the customer looks for additional storage solutions, we offer an additional paternoster beside the line as a standalone machine where additionally six or eight rows can be stored. And so there are then enough different types of folds available, direct or next to the line. Mm -hmm. So if we stay a little bit with, with um, efficiency, um, Juan Martinez, uh, if we talk about automation, which is also a, a very high level in efficiency, uh, which automation level does LISEC offer? Well, we must have in mind that uh, LISEC is well known for uh, a supplier who provides automated solutions. With this in mind, the laminated product itself cannot be much different from it. So our entry level product, which is the, the plus lamp, is definitely starting with some type of automation on it, and it's a semi-automatic line. Uh, why is it a semi-automatic line, or basically what differs from one to the other? Here would be that uh, although there are automated features on it, such as the uh, glass squaring and the assembling itself, there are certain uh, moments or steps which uh, do require a release from the operator. So for example, uh, what does this relate to? To safety issues. So if uh, to guarantee that the area is safe for the operator to enter and operate, in this case, uh, there is the moment where the operator has to trigger the switch and give the okay to the machine to proceed. So to move uh, after the glass has been delivered from the carryover lift, and it's the moment to apply manually the uh, foil. In this case, then the operator must uh, involve. All other process in, in it is uh, automatically done. Nevertheless, uh, we refer to the plus lamp as a, uh, as a starting point, but uh, there is a great advantage that we, count we count with several add-ons, which uh, can be placed either at the moment of ordering the line, when we are building and getting to know exactly the needs of our customer, or even some of these features can be integrated afterwards. So the line has been installed, the customer has uh, started their production, and definitely once we install the line, you immediately understand that you might need more. So this more means in production, and to reach this more in production means adding up uh, additional uh, parts of the ovens, or adding additional uh, automatic trimming devices, for example. And if you want to start immediately with a, a top of the line, well, as, as Christoph did mention, we should start with the Max Lamp, which is the machine who gives the configuration that will give us the most uh, output and a completely automated line. I think to, to increase the productivity, uh, say under, uh, some suppliers offer the opinion to process simultaneously in parallel or tandem mode. So do you offer a similar solution with Isaac? Yeah, the LISIC solution to produce small laminates also in an efficient way at the huge line is called speed assembling. At our feature speed assembling, we split the transport tables and also the glass carryover lift into two units to create an additional buffer, but also to, to reduce the transport waste to the half length. So this allows uh, a one-man operation in the, in the assembling area with the throughput up to 50 laminates per hour. On the other hand, the speed assembling has a, a benefit 
that we run our glass always on the reference side compared to other solutions, especially with the tandem mode where it runs next to next or parallel mode. So in our case we have it always on the reference line and this still allows us to use the automatic fold trimming. And this is a very important feature to increase the whole throughput of the line. Mr. Martinez, of course I have to ask, uh, what is the estimated throughout um, uh, the, the, the output of this plus lamp? Is, uh, is it better? Is it faster? Is it uh, more efficient? What, what is uh, the key figure? What is the, the big benefit for your customers? Well, the big benefit definitely, uh, what our customers will uh, rely on, is uh, all the economical benefits they can uh, reach from this line. If we uh, look into the automation of one uh, we could apply would be the automatic foil laying uh, um, yes, feature. Uh, why? Because this basically will resume uh, a one-man operation. And where? Not that the complete line will be managed by one operator, but at least in the assembly area where you might require the, uh, the most manpower involved can be reduced to just one. One that will supervise, one that will be, uh, of course, uh, involved in the assembling process. With this means that uh, after the glass is assembled, the laminated package is uh, built, it moves automatically into a station where we have uh, seen on the video uh, three automatic cutting heads, and uh, these will be trimming the uh, overhanging uh, foil of the, of the build-up. Uh, of course, being it this way, uh, you can have your cost to reduce uh, reduction costs, uh, um, as in uh, less labor needs, and of course, uh, if we have less interaction with operators, we have definitely a greater uh, quality achievement. And uh, is, uh, is uh, this automatic for a trimming? Is it just available for the plus lamp, or do you have other products? Uh, no, absolutely not. This is um, also available for the max lamp for sure. Um, this this full trimming uh, itself, the, the component uh, Mr. Juan Martinez uh, just explained with these three heads, um, is essential for a high output line. Uh, this is one of the most important parts uh, when it's about the, the throughput of the of the line. Uh, so it's available for the plus lamp, it's available for the max lamp, uh, and what's very important, um, it's also available for uh, already installed machines, not only from Lysex, so also from third party machines, uh, from uh, other suppliers. Um, so the customers can upgrade this functionality um, on their existing machines to uh, improve the outcome of the machine. Mm -hmm. And are there additional solutions uh, one can integrate to existing lines uh, if it has already uh, a machine and to, to improve the lamination products and to reduce the current yield? Um, yeah, for sure. The, the one thing is the um, foil trimming, but the most important one um, our customers should think about is uh, the, the press and heating sections of the, the pre-nip um, oven. Um, our, uh, um, technology is designed or developed that you can easily um, integrate it in existing lines um, so that the customers can um, immediately um, take the benefits out of it. It's um, a stable processing, high courtesy, um, outstanding lamination quality. Um, so this is a core um, product we focus on, um, replacing of this um, heating and pressing sections also for existing lines. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mr. Hell, um, it was already mentioned, the, the, the pre-nip uh, right now. So what would you say, why is the pre-nip called as the heart of the lamination line? Yeah, the quality and lifetime of a laminate product is most related to the uh, stable uh, pre-nip process. That means in this process uh, the fall has to be increased to roughly 65 degrees Celsius and the press have to squeeze out the air between the foil and the glass surface. And only if this process works in a good quality and stable, then you are able to get a good uh, pre-laminated product. When we look a bit deeper in the heating zone, then there is of course the risk if the foil is too hot, then the foil will already glue on the glass surface and then the press cannot squeeze out the air. 
is the fold too cold, then we have too less adhesion between the fold and the glass surface. And uh, during the autoclave cycle, air can remove into the laminate and create bubbles. So a very constant and accurate temperature during the lamination process over the whole glass size uh, is very important. But also the press technology uh, is an important point uh, during this pre process. Because on one hand, we have to press out as much air as possible. But on the other hand, we have to be, uh, take care that we don't crack the glass or to overpress the glass edge, because this occurs also delamination afterwards. So, to do the flexibility and new products and different types of, of laminates, of co uh, for example, coated glass, uncoated glass, tempered glass, glass shapes, also different lamination folds as PVP or SGB, um, it makes necessary to adapt the recipe inside the pre-nip system. And this uh, needs a lot of experience of the operator. Or you do it in an automatic way and with a lot of possibilities of the furnace that this adjustment of the recipe is done automatically. And of course, we as Lysic do the second way, the automatic one, to avoid the influence of the operators. Well, Martinus, I, I think I need a little help with your elaborated uh, press technologies. Uh, what is the difference between single nib and double nib press? Well, as the name more or less indicates it, uh, the first one, the single nib, is our standard product. So we also needed the possibility to identify what would be that product that could reach out to the majority of our customers and what would satisfy, what would satisfy specifically their needs. Uh, and uh, due to all the experience which we have uh, in, the, in the field, we definitely identified that the single nip uh, would cover mainly uh, the majority of these products. Of course, if we are entering in a, in a moment where uh, customers are requiring uh, a, uh, complex products in which there is an involvement of inserts, uh, tempered, uh, uh, as Marcus recently just mentioned, uh, we need to provide additional heat sources, we need to provide additional pressing sources to fulfill uh, a sequence of, uh, of de-airing in a way that we will not damage the product. So uh, our standard product is an excellent solution and the single nip will satisfy all of our customer needs, while the single nip, uh, the double nip, is mainly uh, the product uh, aimed for a higher uh, output and where you can reach basically uh, more um, uh, speed into the production of these complex uh, uh, products themselves. And there's another press, um, Mr. Rega Weiss, Lysek, the only one using the servo spindle press. Uh, good question. Yeah. Uh, you're right. Um, all, yeah. All competitors using hydraulic or pneumatic uh, presses. Uh, there's nothing wrong about this. It's a um, yeah good solution, but in some details, uh, the spindle press is, uh, has uh, big advantages. Um, the first thing is um, you have a very low pressure control and also a very um, long reaction time of the hydraulic, hydraulic and uh, pneumatic systems. And with the spindle press, we use it Lysic. Um, we have a fixture on both sides and we can achieve the highest accuracy available on the market by now because we can um, we always calculate the, the necessary um, pressure and we recalculate this uh, during the, the production and we can um, yeah, adjust the, the, the rolls uh, with, with a very high accuracy. And it's especially interesting when we talk about shapes, uh, triangular shapes or whatever, uh, with the hydraulic or pneumatic pressure, um, the, the roll inside um, yeah, tends to, yeah, to stay not stable on the, on the product and also the maybe a little bit too high pressure on the on the beginning, too low pressure in the middle, some, something like this. Uh, with our hydraulic, um, with our uh, servo spindle press, we can um, yeah calculate everything with the with the highest accuracy, and so this the 
best quality of, of laminates you can do at the moment. So it's for the customers, it's the best solution they can buy uh, in 2020 at the moment, and that's the reason why we as Lysac do this with the service spindles. Okay, so I learned a bit more about the press technology, but um, the heating technology, Mr. Schweitzer, is also an important one, and perhaps you can give us a little bit more insight in uh, what heating technology are you using at Lysac? Yeah, it, it's simple. Uh, we combine two uh, heating sources, uh, infrared and convection for uh, different products. Uh, the infrared uh, we use for the clear glass. Uh, that's important that we use the right wavelength to heat only the foil, not the glass. It's the important thing. And uh, the convection is uh, mostly for the low E coated or painted glass. Uh, it means uh, if we have a clear glass, we have more uh, of the infrared part, and <coughs> if we have painted or low E coated glass, we have more from the convection part. But always together, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. So that's a question of precision, and um, is there all, also an advantage in uh, case of uh, costs, uh, efficiency? Is it can I save energy by uh, your heating system? Yes, because of the uh, infrared, uh, we go exactly only to the uh, foil. That means we have uh, less energy, less energy, less okay. cost. That's it. Good question. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Martinez, how is the energy consumption we were talking about compared to other technologies? Uh, I'm sure it's better, but can you tell us a bit uh, how and how far? Yes, better definitely it is. But how is um, how we uh, take advantage of these combinations? So, when we are working with infrared, it's easy a lamp that will uh, deliver the exact wavelength, as uh, Manfred just mentioned. But, however, uh, the biggest advantage, and it's an additional feature we also provide that can save energy, is uh, through a feature that we call the echo heaters. What are the echo heaters? The echo heaters is uh, our lamps that are segmented. Basically, we provide, instead of having one, full, one single lamp that covers the full width of the oven, it's a lamp that is divided in two parts. Uh, basically, it will cover half of the oven length. So the advantage here is clear. Uh, once we heat the PVB on a, uh, on a laminate, we want to heat the PVB inside. We're not interested in heating the mass of the glass in the normal uh, stages. So there is no point in having the complete lamp length lit on wasting energy. So with this segmented lamp, we have the possibility to save energy. And of course, it is uh, an ex extremely uh, uh, high benefit of which our customers are gaining. Another thing is that we have the combined solution. So of course, as already Manfred did mention was that uh, uh, combined, so, uh, depending on the product, we are using the infrared and, the, and combined with the um, uh, convection. These two will provide the best energy consumption and best results depending on the precise product that is being used in this case. Uh, Mr. Jandler, if we are talking about these interesting customer benefits, um, can you tell us when it will be uh, profitable for the customer to exchange the prenip? I would say if the old existing prenip system on customer sides works with a hydraulic cylinder press, then an exchange to our Lysex servo spindle press technology makes always sense. As Christoph before explained already, only with a servo spindle press you can guarantee a parallel, very accurate gentle pressing. And this is very important for a shaped glass uh, to avoid a delamination of the laminate afterwards. But uh, also, if a press is older than 10 years, mostly the infrared technology which is uh, implemented is an old technology. That means the heat up time to the working temperature needs sometimes one or two minutes. And also the wavelength is not the right one. A lot of energy will be absorbed from the glass 
and not from the foal. So this combination uh, to get with a Lysac pre-nip exchange the best uh, pressing quality, the accurate ones, and a unique uh, infrared uh, system in combination with other infrared solution what we also offer, you have at the end of the day a very high output line with a stable product quality and less uh, uh, influence of the operator. But as I uh, hear, it's not to be afraid um, that this is very complex or very complicated or takes a long time. Uh, Mr. Schmelzer, what, what would you say, how long will such a premium exchange take and um, what does the customer have to prepare? I think it's made in, in two weeks. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, the, the dismantling of the old machine can be done by the customer or supervised by LASIK. And uh, the installation of the new prenip uh, we can make in the first week. And in the second week we ramp up and make uh, the first uh, laminates. Um, we have our own electrical cabinets and control system. Uh, and we need only uh, uh, a release signal and the transport speed from the customer. Uh, then it's a very, very easy uh, solution. Sounds easy, so I have uh, just one last question to you, Mr. Rieger, and that's a good one. Um, why should I buy a lamination line from Lysac? Yeah, that's maybe the best question today. <laughs> um, yeah, we talked a lot about the advantages already, about the speed assembling, our NIP technology with the servo spindle press, with our eco heaters and so on. Uh, but what's important at the end of the day, it's um, all of our customers uh, like to earn money with this invest. And all of these advantages uh, sums up to a very stable process, to a high quality product and to a, with the right combination, um, a very high output on the line. Um, so and, and this is the reason why, why you should buy the line from Lysac because uh, you almost have no chance to, to lose your money if you run it right. You just have to bring the, the glass through the machine. Um, yeah, so that's the most important reason from my point of view. Um, and also, yeah, for sure we have worldwide service network and so on. So we also, if there will be a problem, we can help immediately. So we have a stable line with high courtesy, high output, high quality, and a service which is not far away. So, yeah, there's not much which could go wrong. So you would say an all-in-one solution is exactly. right, Lysac. <laughs> okay. So, gentlemen, thank you very much for sharing all these very interesting insights, for your expertise, for being here today. And um, I say thank you for watching this live talk. And I hope you enjoy the campus if you stay a little bit longer with us.